have a message for you. It's about memes, the power of them, and how you can wield memes for good and to combat evil. Doge, doing only good every day. Pepe in Hong Kong, Harambe highlighting both animal and human rights. Memes are a universal form of communication that can unite us. And memes now rule the world. Without further ado, I would like to introduce Tridog, the leader of the pack, half dog, half human, and he works for a photograph of a dog. As the Doge NFT top dog for Pleaser Daub, he stewards the most famous meme of all time. What's up, TEDx Fargo? Wow, wonderful to be here. And what better way to talk about memes than in the likeness of the world's most famous Shiba Inu, Doge. If you haven't already met, this is Doge, voted the most influential meme of the last decade. This photo is the inspiration behind millions of Doge memes, as well as Dogecoin and thousands of other meme coins that followed. It's had quite a run on the internet. And Doge is more globally recognized than Hollywood celebrities, including some of the most memeable. Sorry, Nicolas Cage. <laughs> In fact, the NFT of the original Doge meme sold for $4 million, and to date is the most expensive meme ever sold on chain. A meme can be many things, but I like to think of it as a cultural unit of measurement. The more a meme is imitated, the more power that it holds. The provenance or the origin of it is what holds that power. And it can even be a photograph of a dog. And you're probably wondering why. Why do memes matter? Why would they be worth so much? Well, memes are a universal form of communication. It supersedes language, cultural barriers, in fact, I'd argue memes are now one of the most popular languages in the world, and the most recognizable, making memes the most valuable collections of the digital age. They've helped Hong Kong protesters express their emotions, Pepe the Frog. They've helped elect presidents, Shepard Ferry. They've even helped overthrow governments. And more importantly, they make you laugh. Hopefully someone finds this funny. <laughs> Doge itself was inspired, has inspired, values of wholesomeness, having fun, being yourself, and to D-O-G-E, do only good every day. And today, memes are everywhere and everything. They're the TikTok videos you stream, everything Elon Musk tweets, as well as all of crypto Twitter. And they even existed pre-internet in art and graffiti. And to be honest, they helped me prepare for this TED Talk. In fact, hold on. Wait, I'm a meme right now. But there's something new happening in the world of memes right now, and it's really exciting. In only the last 18 months, we've seen just 80 memes sell for close to 7,000 Ethereum. That's 32 million US dollars in NFTs only spent on memes. And even if you aren't a world famous meme, the average meme value is still around $20,000 on a marketplace like Dank Bank. So now meme creators, as well as the subjects of memes, can leverage the blockchain to sell their NFTs, plus profit on future sales something that was never possible for artists and meme creators before. This gives those viral public figures a true shot at not just being a starving artist in mom's basement or the subject of a narrative they don't control. These are three very famous subjects of memes that uh, were able to benefit from NFTs on chain. And what better example than Atsuko Sato, the owner of Kabusu, 
aka the Doge mother. She did exactly that with the Doge NFT when it sold. She's a 50-something kindergarten teacher in Japan, and she had taken zero profit from the meme, even after a decade of Doge lore on the internet. When she sold it on Ethereum, she was able to donate a large percentage of it to some of her favorite charities in Japan, even the dog shelter that she adopted Kabusu the Doge from. The buyer was PleaserDAO, a crypto organization that buys culturally significant art with a charitable twist and brings it back to the people in novel forms. For the Doge NFT, that was through fractionalization of the NFT into dog token. So all can own a piece of the original meme, as well as continue to direct the future of it with governance on chain. As part of that, the Doge NFT community made about 2 million in donations. 500,000 went to dog charities and animal welfare. Another million was sent to save the children. And that was the largest crypto gift they had ever received, DOG. And these sorts of projects are upending the traditional art world, as well as changing the way that we think about art. Most of us can't afford to own the Mona Lisa and artwork versus millions of dollars, but now we can. So in short, <laughs> memes equal art for all to own with the empowerment of blockchain technology. And thus, art on chain can be owned by anyone, not just museums and the ultra wealthy, and they can support meme makers and average Joes and Janes and help them in perpetuity build community as well as future revenue with blockchain mechanisms. So I'd like to end with my most important point. 